Uh, I'm Mike, that's Will. We are, we are the Tabletop Donkeys. Uh, we're bringing you a new series today about the Warhammer Conquest Partworks magazine by Hachette Partworks. That's uh, available in the UK and Spain and uh, just at time of recording. It's just been released in Australia and New Zealand. So a number of people on YouTube have done in-depth reviews of the magazines themselves, but what we're going to do is do the battle reports from each mis from each issue, because we think that might be fun to watch. So each episode we'll go do a quick overview of what miniatures you get and a quick flick through the magazine, and then we'll just go straight to the battle. So in issue one we get three easy-to-build Primaris intercessors, as well as three paints to paint them with. We'll just go through a quick flick through the magazine so you can see there's some background of the Warhammer setting. Each issue usually has that. And you can see some of the Space Marine chapters. And I've decided to paint my intercessors as the Silver Templars, seeing as they uh, sort of partially made up for this magazine, but unfortunately they don't actually tell you how to paint them like that, so I've had to make it up as I'm going along. And you can see here's how to build your three intercessors. So you've got Sergeant Decius, uh, Intercessor Apollon, and Intercessor Gallius. And you see here's a painting tutorial on how to paint them. Start painting them as the Ultramarines. Uh, no battle in issue one because we haven't got anyone to fight against. So we'll skip straight to issue two. So here in issue two we got uh, three easy to build Death Guard Plague Marines for the Intercessors to fight against. And uh, once again there's some background on the Death Guard and their homeworld and the Plague Marines themselves. And we got our building tutorial for uh, Champion Repugnus and Plague Marine Gruel, the bolt gunner, and Plague Marine Bubox, the old man with the bile, the, what was it, the bile? Light launcher. Light launcher, that was it. Yeah. Whatever bizarre weapon they have. And uh, we're a bit lacking for paints in this issue, so you have to make do with green, gold, and black. But this is what we're here for, is the first introductory battle. So we are going to be using the rules as they're laid out by the magazine. So a lot of things that you could normally do in Warhammer we're not going to be doing early on. So you can see here all we can do in our first mission is move and shoot. And also advance here. So advancing is just uh, when a unit moves you roll a dice and you can add that number to how far it moves. And rolling to shoot you just roll to hit and then roll to wound and roll an armor save. Uh, all that will become apparent in the issue. And you can see here we don't have the full stat lines for the units yet either. So for our first mission, uh, I think everyone's just done with bolt guns. We all have one shot each. You can see it's primary means of two wounds. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Really? Yeah. The obvious what, what all, we're doing once we start doing it yeah, really should um, all become apparent. Uh, and each each guy in this, if you're familiar with Warhammer generally, each guy in this at the moment is an individual model. Yes, yeah, no... so we have no squads yet; we're all individuals. Yeah. And also, a lot of these early issues, since they're tutorials, often have a an extra mission with extra rules. So we'll do the first mission as it comes, just as the basic tutorial. And then the second mission, the extra mission, will use the extra rules. So this is the battlefield we're going to be playing on uh, for the next, um, well, 20 or so issues, actually. Uh, it stays like this for a while. This is the cargo deck of the Strike Cruiser Blade of Navaris, which is the Strike Cruiser belonging to the Silver Templars, um, which we made up because in the magazine it's called something else, but it's the magazine it's for Ultramarines, so we've given it a different name. It's not very large, as you can see, but uh, it does the job for these early missions where there's only a few models per side. Um, on the board itself, there is actually it's actually got printed uh, details and so forth. But later on in the issues, you do actually get all of these boxes. And since we've got them, we thought we might as well put them here because they look a bit nicer that way. Um, for the purposes of the game, the terrain just counts as being infinitely tall. You can't climb on it or shoot through it or anything. It's just a big block. But it looks nicer if we put it there. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go on to the mission. And we're just going to get the model set up. And then we'll be back to start the game. So here it is, your first battle, and the title of it is Boarded, and according to a little bit of text we've got here, on its way to the planet of Corvon 2, the strike cruiser has been boarded by the Foul Plague Marines, who apparently are trying to stop the Silver Templars from reaching the planet and helping its defenders. Um, all, all three of them so far, but we'll get, we'll get more later. 
for this battle, um, for, for, for the whole whole of this series, I'm going to be playing the Death Guard, and Michael will be playing the Space Marines. So here we have the models all set up. We've got the three Space Marines over here on their little deployment markers, and the three Death Guard over here. And for the purposes of this very first game, they all have the same weapon, which um, the well, the, the roles they need to hit and wound are given in the magazine. According to the rules, at the moment, the Space Marines get to go first, so literally they might as well just start going. So mm. here, we are, here we go with Space Marines turn one. So they start with a movement phase, and uh, each of the intercessors can move six inches each. And uh, I'm not going to advance, because I think I can get some shots in. So this first guy is going to move up, so he can get line of sight. On the space marine, on the death guard. Yeah. Because the sergeant will move up as well. And I think he can. No, he can't really see. And then the, my third man will advance. So roll right, the dice. And the dice box. Got a two. two. So he can move eight inches this round. But he can't shoot. Oh. But he can't see anyone shoot anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So next is the shooting phase, so I've only got one man who can really see. Yeah. So he'll take a shot at your champion. Yes. Okay. So he needs, he's got one shot, so he needs a three to hit. And that's a five, so yeah. that's a hit. <laughs> and he needs a five to wound, because the death guard are quite tough. And I only got three, so there's no wound. Right. So that's the end of my turn, and it's the death guard turn. So, the first Death Guard turn, and uh, well, we you can see some intercessors over there already, so actually just going to move up. They, now, Plague Marines can only move five because they're big and fat and whatever. Um, so, we're just going to move this guy five inches, or just under five inches over there, so he can see. And the champion, he's going to move five inches as well. And this guy over here, yeah, he can also see that guy over there if he moves. A bit. The range on these guns is, I think it's 24 inches, which yes. is far too far on this map. Not going to be a problem. Yes, as a, as a reminder, they, all the Death Guard are counters is armed with bolt guns for this mission. Yeah, so now we're going to start opening fire. Uh, we're going to start with this guy here. Uh, I've just realised the champion can't see. I think that was a mistake. Oh well. I'm sure I've moved it behind this box. Yeah, which you can't shoot over. You can't shoot over, because I, which I said that at the beginning of the game. So anyway, so I'm, I'm actually going to do both of these guys who can shoot at once. They're going to shoot at this intercessor over here. Okay. Um, because he's got two wounds, so I can't kill him unless... I, so I've got two hits, because they hit on threes, and then I need fours to wound. I've got one wound. There's one wound. And the intercessor's about a three-plus armour save. So he's fine. Which you've made, so that's fine. So... Uh, that's it for my turn because nothing else to do. So space marine turn. straight onto space marine turn. This guy is going to move up to the edge of that container so you can shoot around it. Yeah. There's no cover or anything in this. No. In the rule, we haven't got any rules for cover or anything, but it looks, it, looks but professional. But it does block line of sight. It does. So. So he's actually going to move back a bit. So your guy there can't do it. So they can all see him. Right. But, but the other can't. two can't shoot. Yeah. Well, they will be able to move oh, in yeah. my turn. But, but uh, that's the plan. So all three of them are going to shoot at your bolt gunner. Okay. They need threes. Yeah. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah. So one hit. But it is a wound. It is a wound. You need fives to win Plague Marines because they're really tough. Yeah. So, uh, have so a three plus armor save. Which I failed, even though it bounced onto the thing. But Plague Marines have a 5 plus disgustingly resilient, so he gets an extra saving throw effectively. Yeah, because he's so disgusting that apparently he can shrug it off. But he hasn't made that, so oh, he's gone down straight away. So I'm going to take him away. Uh, but that's it for the Space Marines. Yep. So onto the Death Guard. And, well, these two guys um, are going to move so they can see. So they're going to do that. So they can both see. And they're both going to shoot at. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll just go for the sergeant in the middle. Okay. There we go. Two shots, two hits. And fours to wound, nothing. So that's them. And then from this point, it kind of becomes a bit of a shooting it's match. It's going to be a bit of a... Yeah, it's just going to be a shooting match. Now, we basically. don't have enough rules to do anything more interesting at the moment. But So all of mine are going to shoot at your champion. Yeah. And there's two hits there. And then no wounds. So straight to your turn. Yeah. And we're just going to rinse and repeat here, so two shots, 
hitting threes, which they have. And, oh, no wounds at all. Everyone's loaded with rubber bullets this mission. Yeah. So um, it's my turn. All yeah. mine are going to shoot your champion. I got one hit. I didn't wound. And we're going to do it again. So, oh, one hit this time. And no wound. <laughs> this game is now going to just be looking at this dice box for... Next Don't few make minutes. it sound too exciting. <laughs> got three hits. Three hits. And one wound. One wound. So I need to make a three plus armor save. Oh, I oh, fail. I can't make those. I can't. Five plus resilience. Uh, I need to make this. Oh, oh dear. Oh. oh, well, he's going to go down as well. Champion so that's the down. champion down. So uh, this guy, well, he's angry now, so he's going to move. <laughs> Here he comes. He's going to come and come get you with his one shot. Here he comes. He's going to shoot. We hit. The sergeant. Yeah, the sergeant. Oh, he's wounded. Oh, he's wounded. Uh, three plus armor save. Oh, fine. you can make those. Right. And they all shoot at him. There's one hit. Didn't wound. No. My turn. Hit. Uh, no, no wound. And two hits. No wounds. No. He <laughs> missed. <laughs> oh. oh, oh dear. I think they've all got bored. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. I've never seen that many misses in a row. No. Three plus. Two hits. One wound. So, make an armor save. Oh, I can make them this time. Mm. Your turn. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> this three is misses in a row. Statistics, ladies and gents. Two hits. No okay. wound. Oh, dear. Who, who made these dice? All right, I've got a hit. And I've got a wound. Oh. Three plus armor save. No. Oh. Sorge takes a wound. He takes a wound. Oh, so we're going to put a marker on him. Oh, look, he's down to one. Yep. Hooray. Primaris Marines of uh, two wounds each. Yes. And it's they my do. turn, so two hits. No wounds. I've got a hit. Oh, I haven't wounded. No, no good. Another two hits. Two hits. Marines. No wounds. No wounds. <laughs> I've missed. That's three oh, hits. Three hits this time. Come on, roll that again. One wound. One wound. Oh, oh I failed my armor save, so now I just need to make a five plus. Oh, it's a, oh, four. It's a four. He goes down. That's yeah, victory oh. for the Silver Templars. Yeah, so there we are. There. Three of them are victorious. They propelled the boarding assault. We're now going to play the second mission that you get in issue two, which has some extra rules and going to be fighting over control of objectives, so uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit more Exciting. interesting. This is the second mission we get. This is tutorial replay mission one, um, as opposed to tutorial mission one, which we had before. And this time we've got an objective in the middle of the board. So. Show you that, there it is, that's an objective there. And the way this mission works is that a model who moves on to the objective picks it up and then you can move with it. And the player who wins is the one who can get the objective to be on, take it to one of their deployment markers here and keep it there for a whole turn. Um, and we're also gonna, one thing it suggests is implementing a turn limit. So we're only gonna play for six turns maximum because otherwise there's potential for what happened last time. So and we just roll dice can, for a long time. Whoever controls the objective at the end of six turns wins. Yeah, so if, if we don't actually get that, then if someone does have control of it, even if they haven't held it for a turn, that will do. Um, so that's the mission. And then what we've also got is the extra rules for new weapons. So we have the Blight Launcher, carried by Plague Marine Viewbox, which means the Space Marines, they only get to... Roll a. They have a. Their armor save is only on a five plus against this, rather than on a three plus. Um, the champion has a plasma gun on his back. There it is, and that always wounds on a two plus. But on a one, he if he rolls a one to hit, he explodes and dies. Um, and then the other thing we have is rules for rapid fire. So if model is within twelve inches of its target. Uh, oh no, it's only the, only the intercessors, so only the intercessors yeah. get rapid fire. So these guys with their bolt rifles, come on, focus. 
There we are. So with their bolt rifles, they can shoot twice if they're within 12 inches. Not 15 inches, which is the actual range of the weapon in the real game, but 12 inches. <laughs> so here we are deployed again. Um, might just look the same, but there is some tactics here. I've put the Blight Launcher behind this box so that Space Marines can't just shoot him because he's my best weapon um, <laughs> for taking those guys down. So, very tactical. And the Space Marines get to go first once again, so, uh, well, off you go, I guess. Uh, Space Marines turn one. Yep, so we'll put our swanky turn marker up there. See, my intercessor Apple on the end here. Just going to move out. Sergeant Decius is going to advance. It's nine, so you can get. All right, so he's going to almost onto the objective. He just has to be touching it. So, although probably with the size of his base winding around those things, he probably won't quite yeah, get there because yeah. he has to come out a bit. Because so he'll be about here. Yeah. And uh, Gallius is going to advance as well. Ah, ah. he could get there if you want him to. Yes, I do want him to. Yeah. So he's going to move on to the objective. So you can. And pick it up. Yeah, so Intercessor Gallius has now moved on to the objective, so he now gets the objective now gets moved so it's directly underneath his base. And when he moves again, he'll be able to take it with him. Now on to the shooting phase. Uh, Gallius can't shoot because he advanced, but Apollon can. And he's going to shoot at your plague champion. Yep. And he's just at the range, he's much out of 12 inches, so he only gets a single shot, which misses. Yep. Oh, so that's that. So, uh, well, death, with that... Death Guard turn one. Right, so um, obviously I need to take that objective as soon as possible, because otherwise you can take it away. So these guys are going to move up their five inches, which I've pre-measured, and shoot at him. Now, the disadvantage of putting the U-Box behind this box here is that he only can actually move out far enough to see, so... That's good. So we're actually going to start the shooting with him, so he gets... One shot with his Blight Launcher, which Getting hits on a three. three. Oh, he's missed. And then we've got a Champion Repugnus with his Plasma Gun, also hitting on a three, on a two. He doesn't, he doesn't blow up. Misses, but he doesn't blow up. And then finally, the Bolt Gun from, from Gruul. From Gruul. He's over here. He, oh, he does hit, but he, he's a weapon's rubbish, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, see, there you go. And you failed to Fail wound. to wound. So that's it for the Death Guard to turn one. So we're on to Space Marines turn two. And what are you going to well, do? Well, uh, Gallius is going to <laughs> advance. Yeah. Advance in reverse. Oh, only one. Yeah. Clearly the objective is heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy objective. And you're lugging it back. So I'm going to try and get it so you can't possibly shoot at him. So he'll get to about there. Makes sense. And he's going to take the objective with him. Right, so there he is. He's taking the objective with him. And uh, Sergeant Decius will move out so yep. he can provide covering fire, as will Apollon. Yeah, so uh, so I've checked the ranges and both of these two are within 12 inches of view box at the back there. Yeah. So they're both going to rapid fire at him. Yeah, so, so they get four shots hitting on three shots each for this. Three hits. There's one wound. There's a wound, so I need to make my armour save. Which I have, so That's he's alright. Right, yes, so I need to take out Gallius over there who's got that objective, so... But Michael has very cleverly moved him so that I can't actually get anyone close enough to him. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our five inches over here and try and fight a way through because he still has to... Um, get that objective to his deployment zone and then hold it there, so I've still got a bit of time to take him out. Now we're going to start with um, Viewbox here, with the Blight Launcher, because he can't see the box. If I kill, I mean, the unlikely event I managed to kill Sergeant Desius, so I'll be able to see through behind. So, oh he's hit this time with the Blight Launcher and he wounds on, still wounds on a four. Oh, he doesn't, so that's no good. And we're going to try the Plasma Gun on the Champion. Oh, well, you hit this time as well, and he wins on a 2+, plus because it's a plasma gun. Which he does, so you need to make your armour save. Which I have is... a 3 plus armour save. Yep. He's fine. Sadly, no armour penetration for the plasma gun at this stage. Um, and you've got Gruul left with his... And then we've got his... Gruul left with his bolt gun, so he's going to shoot as well. That's 6. <laughs> um, ah, but he has not managed to wound. So then it's on to Space Marines turn... 3. 3, yep. So, 
Gallus is going to do the honourable manoeuvre and hide behind this box. Yeah, because that's a completely legitimate thing to do. Yeah, it's on the deployment marker there. Yeah, so he just has to stay there until the start of next space marine turn. Um, I think I'm not going to be able to kill him somehow because I can't <laughs> see him, so it's maybe a foregone conclusion, but never mind. We're going to carry on anyway. Apollon's just going to move out a bit so you can see the box. Yeah. So these two are both going to rapid fire him again. Okie doke. Okay. So we've got four shots between the two of them. They all hit. They all hit. Uh, one, one wound. wound. So I need to make my arm save again, which and I have, one. so he's fine. So that's that. So we're on to the Death Guard turn. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I, I, I can't move in any way. Even if I move over here, these boxes here are in the way, so I won't be able to see him. So um, all I can really do is go for trying to kill someone. And so um, I don't think these guys are actually going to move. Well, no, why not? I'm going to come round here in a menacing fashion. And well, uh, oh, except there's a box in the way now. So Gruul can't shoot from there. Yeah, angle. so I, I won't do that. I'm just going to blind them up. There we are. I'm just, gonna... just going to try and kill your sergeant. It's a moral victory. So we'll start with the Blight Launcher. Uh, that's hit. Uh, wounds on four. Oh, it has wounded. Now, this is a... He's, he's mad. It's yeah. a five plus it's armor save. Five plus armor save from this. Oh, that's which fine. is made. And then we've got the Plasma Gun, which has hit. Oh, and wow. wound on two. Wow, you rolled oh. four sixes in a row. Did I? Wasn't actually paying yeah. attention. Um, Three plus armor save. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, still no. Still and no AP on the bomb gunner. Missed. Oh, he's missed. Uh, well, and so there we go. That's the end of the Death Guard turn. And the Space Marine turn. Well, they win because yeah. um, you've got the objective We've over there. Captured the objective at the start of turn four. Yeah. So, well, that's it. That was replay mission one with the extra rules, which was actually more interesting than. Um, you thought it was going to be. Other than I thought it was going to be, yes. Um, because the problem with when we only have the, this many rules, of course, is that it could just be um, literally just rolling dice for ages until nothing happens. Well, sorry, until something happens. But um, I'm just rambling now. I'm probably going to cut this bit, but never mind. Right, well, so that was issue one and two and the very first missions um, yeah. of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. So, well, how do you feel that went? <laughs> it's, uh, well, at this, this stage, because so we're both, we're both experienced Warhammer players, so for us it's a bit sort of too basic almost. To yeah. Have, it'd be pretty good for beginners, definitely. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. It, the, it does show you how what the, to do. In the second mission, the Space Marines always getting to go first is a bit of a bit of an advantage you'd probably be if you were to play that again just roll off for who gets to go first yeah because if you get a decent advance roll as you did you can pick that thing up and then you can steal it away and I suppose the other the, I could have come around the, the back of the box and cut off your escape route to some extent but still a bit tricky you're right it would be easier if then again I suppose it makes it relatively easy for the plague means if they get to go first yeah. so yeah, as you say. Good advance uh, roll, get you in. Yeah, exactly. So really it does actually come down to who gets that roll. The Plague Marine special weapons, the Plasma Gun and the Blight Launcher, are okay, but with only one shot, even though this book should hit three two-thirds of the time, I didn't. Yeah. So that wasn't, and, uh, wasn't and that effective. A lot more, they are much more powerful in the proper one 40,000 game as well, so yeah. I can see why they're toned down. Yeah. Well, once we, manage, once we get proper rules for the Power Fist on the champion, um, he starts to become a bit more dangerous. But we'll get rules for close combat. In the next in the, issue. In the next issue, yeah, you're quite right. So, and I believe that also has the rules for the Power Fist as yeah, well. Yeah, I think it does. So he becomes a bit more dangerous. Although he still blows himself up on... In fact, I think he's going to spend some time blowing himself up with his plasma yeah. gun before he gets the rules to not blow himself, not blow himself up. <laughs> so uh, He realises that there's a low power option on his plasma gun. Yeah. So yeah, I think overall that is quite a good introduction for new players. So if you're, if this is just being released in your where you are, or if it does, I mean it's still yet to be released in North America. So I'm assuming it will be at some point. Um, one thing we didn't mention at the beginning actually is that this is a fantastic way of getting a load of models at much less than money than you would pay to buy them all separately. But I think the, the first these first two issues are well they're they reduced they price, price, but so these the boxes for buying these two groups of miniatures are I think they're. At least over yeah, here, so the, like the, £10 each or something. Yeah, so the first issue is £2, and you get the three intercessors and three paints and a starter paintbrush. Mm. 
Um, the intercessors on their own are ten pounds for these three. Uh, same for the Death Guard. I believe issue two is about four pounds rather than two. Normal issues are eight pounds each over here. Most of them give you good savings. For instance, uh, later on we'll get a Primaris Librarian, which is twenty-two pounds fifty on the Games Workshop store in the UK, whereas it, we could get the magazine and get it for eight pounds. So, uh, in fact, even picking up a couple of these issues, just even if you're not subscribed to it, picking them up just from a news agent or whatever is actually. And you can, can buy good, uh, back issues from the Hachette Parkworks website. Yes, that is true as well. So well. it's possible to get hold of these if you're somewhere where this has already started being released, though, at the moment. I think that's pretty much only the UK and Spain, as far as I'm aware. And uh, Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, they've just started, so it'd probably be fairly easy to get hold of these early issues there. But I mean, this is we're up to in the UK, we're up to issue 31 this week, yeah. aren't we? So hopefully we'll be able to catch up to <laughs> actual release day schedules. So yeah, I mean, that, that has been the first episode of this series. Um, if you like what you've seen, uh, give it a like or a comment down below, or even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, we've got some other ideas we might do at some point, but for the moment we're going to try and get as many of these out as we can. Yeah, so we've been the Tabletop Donkeys. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Yeah, see you in the next one.